welcome to my channel if you are new here i'm barbara Boaji, and in today's video we are going all the way to switzerland and i'm going to share with you a fully funded scholarship at eth zurich so without wasting much time open your laptop take your pens and papers and let's dive right into it this scholarship opens on november 1st so we are using now to november 1st to gather our documents i'm also going to make a step-by-step -step video when the application portal opens so that for those who are interested in anything that this is for you we can apply together so just go to google and type eth Zurich excellence master's scholarship a lot of options will pop up mostly if you are to know which one is the right link you need a link that has the name of the university. So this is ETHZ. Is that one? It's usually the first one. If you tell the name of the university, so we are going to click on this, and the scholarship, as we know, is an excellent scholarship. So in this video, we are going to look at what they are looking for, who can apply, as well as the program of studies in this um, university. So the first thing is the scholarship covers the full study and living course during the master's degree course. So it will give you um tuition it takes care of your tuition as well as a stipend we are also going to look at how much the stipend costs so these are people who have won the scholarship i'll tell you i'll advise you to watch and for one trick on winning scholarship is to always look at the frequently asked questions so you will click on this it will open this portal i'm not going to do this do this on your own so um so yeah and the deadline is actually november 1st to december 15th so we have some time to prepare and put in a competitive application so we will apply online via this portal so this is a prerequisite they need people who are very good results so this is an excellent scholarship so people who graduated with like the first class but the second class upper you should also give it a short first class second class upper give it a shot and um in your cv ensure that you have your you have a telephone number there. When you put in your telephone number, always put in the country code so that they know how to call you. So this is very important information you should know. And you have to apply within the first application window. So this is during this period. If you want to get the scholarship, you need to apply during this period. So the documents is, in addition to the documents for the master's, you will need to upload a pre-proposal for your master's. So you click on this and they tell you what the pre-proposal will look like. Um, the good thing is I've already made a video on, where is that video? I've already made a video on how to write a proposal. So this video, take your time and watch it. It's long, but the goal of watching this video is to have a general idea of what you can include. Another thing is, if you want to reference, you are using Word. Referencing is very important. I've also made this video. You just type Microsoft Word. This, you type research proposal, it will pop up here. Microsoft Word to be able to reference figures and tables when you put in this will help you and next week or this week on my Twitter I'll be sharing some samples of research proposal for you to read and to see how to prepare a strong research proposal so my YouTube, my Twitter handle is at awesome Amma. you just go there and type at awesome Amma research proposal these things will pop up this is one I made uh, last week or last two weeks so you have a look at it and you see how a research proposal is and you can prepare it. It's nothing strange. All you need to know is how to do it. And I'll help you to put this together with the samples I show you, with the videos you watch and you put it in. Don't worry about this. This is not difficult. So this is easy. So as you are saying, plagiarism, negligent or intentional it will lead to exclusion. So try and put this together on your own. The resources will help you to put it together on your own. So the amount is... You're going to get this per semester. This is a lot of money as well as tuition fee waiver. I'm going to copy this and we are going to put it in Google to see how much this actually cost. So let's see. Um, 12,000 to Ghana cities. I'm going to um, CH, CHF. 12,000 so to Ghana cities I, <laughs> I really don't believe this is true but if this is true which is it 12,000 I actually don't believe my eyes I don't believe my eyes yeah 12,000 per semester 
No, there's no school concern for scholarship covering living and student and study expenses. Okay. As well as tuition fee waiver. So maybe this is this is part of the stipend as well as um other study experiences that makes sense but you know i'm going to confirm with my friend who attended this university to be sure that this money is actually given to you in your pocket and that is 157 okay this is a lot but yeah i was a bit caught off guard but i'll confirm with this and get back to you so we know how much it costs so the selection process and the good thing is that they're going to take 60 people so if you have a first class or second class upper, use this period to prepare a competitive application and you will be good to go. So you will know by the end of March. So if by if you apply by by this year, by the end of March, you will know if you got this scholarship. So now what else do we need to know? The next thing is to look at the programs they do have in this university. When you um, when you come here, you could click on studies. When you click on studies, you will see bachelor's and master's degree program. So I'm gonna go with this studies here. You click on the studies. So bachelor's and master's degree. I've already opened it. It's this. It will open this portal. So these are the programs they have: architecture, civil engineering. Engineering sciences, data science, cyber security, natural sciences, and mathematics system. So there are a lot of programs here. You need to take your time to click it and see. Some of the programs are offered in German and some are offered in English. So whichever program you want to do, you need to click on it to check the language that they are offering it in. So I'm going to click civil engineering master. And why German? German, Germany, um, Switzerland has, they speak English, they speak Italian, and they speak German, depending on which side of the border they are in. So the, the, there's a lot of languages in, in um, Switzerland. So we look here and um, so for civil engineering, it's going to be English. Suitable graduates from our council be admitted to a master. Further information can be found here. So let's look at information for prospective students. I'm going to click on this to see what they have. So this is for, for the Masters of Civil Engineering. They'll give you what you need to know. And there's something called the requirement profile. So every program will have their requirement profile. So when I click on this, Take your time and read this, but to make it easier, I'm going back again to the studies. I go back again to studies. We will look at, wait, let me go back. Um, I'll close the stop. When I go to studies, I'm going to bachelor's and master's degree program. Okay, let me see this. There is a point on how to apply. I'm going to click on international students here. <coughs> this is very good for you as an international student to read. I have already opened the portal, but I don't know why. Okay, so studies at ETH Zurich. Okay, so because I need to show you where or how to find it. Um, bachelor's and master's program okay once i go back again to the civil engineering program i will click here to so further information on language requirements to know the language requirement and the admissions you click on further information most of these tabs you will find it on your program the program you choose so recognize english language certificate so this is what the exemption from the proof so for us who have exclusively taught in English, you will just need a document to confirm that. So you go to your university, like here in university or University of Ghana, you ask them to write a letter to state that uh, you studied your entire bachelor's degree in English and your country is an English speaking country. These are letters that we, they, they, they issue out every day. So you just ask them and you submit this to show your language requirements. So the further information, it brings you here. We look at the admissions and we are looking at this is different based on where you got your bachelor's degree. We got our bachelor's degree from international an international bachelor. 
So you click on this and when you come, when you go to studies at ETH Zurich, okay, it's actually the same thing. Okay. So this is what I was looking for. So for international student, prospective student, this is good for you to look, but this is not, yeah. So we go to our international bachelor's degree. Then we look for how do I apply or we look at application documents. That's the most important thing. So these are the documents they need. So they are general documents and program specific documents. I'll open the program specific documents in another tab. This is where we are going to, we are going to end very soon. So these are the documents they need. They need your official transcripts of records. You have to have this information there and they will need your confirmation of matriculation. Like if you are still in school, the good thing about this is if you are still in school, you can apply, but you should get your degree before you finish. So you need your degree certificate, your language certificate, which you've taught. They need your CV, chronological curriculum. Please take your time and read this very well. It's very important. I've also made videos on how to write a good CV. You go here and you type CV to give you an idea of how to structure it, what to include in it. So this will, this is good for you to have a general idea of it. And these are some CV templates I've shared. I think last week also I shared another one. Let's type resume. Yeah, so these are other templates. You look at it and see how people put together their CV and it will be good for you to structure your CV like that. So where's the how do I? So this is the part. And they talk about the fact that you shouldn't leave any gaps in your CV. So that is very important. So that is it. So you need your passport. You need a declaration of consent. So you have to click on this and you fill it. And for other programs, the program specific. So we come here. So you choose the program and you look at the program specific. So we open our civil engineering. So civil engineering for an international bachelor's degree. You need a language proficiency. We've talked about it. You need a, recommend, a recommendation letter. Two academic recommendation letters with the following topics, preferably from a professor. Your comment. So your, with this, your recommendation letter should talk about these things. You should talk about your academic performance, your comment on it, your GRE, and a short evaluation of your study achievement. The good thing is also on my Twitter, I've, I've shared some samples of recommendation letters and how they should look like and what so you could also come. So that when your professor gives to you to ask you if it's good, you can give some comment. So this is an example. You can look at that and help and make the comment or suggestion. So. You need a motivation letter, approximately one A4 page in the language of instruction, stating your motivation for choosing this specific master's degree program. At, and I've also made a video on motivation letters. It will give you an idea or to motivate you to motivation letter. So this is it. So that is good. We have all the documents. We have all the resources. Um, so you have to choose, you look at this. So this is what you need. So. I think, and also I have a friend who actually attended ETH Zurich. I brought him on my channel and you go to playlist. Then you look for Switzerland, study in Switzerland. So this is him. He talks about his experience, all you need to know about studying in Switzerland and how he won, um, this particular scholarship I'm talking to you about. So Hello. watch it and learn from me. So I'm rooting for you, eh? and to hear from me again. Bye.